पखावा चौश्री शिवा Amen. Salutations to Shri Ganesha. The presiding sage of Shri Shiva Kavach is Brahma. The meter is Anushtop. The presiding deity is Sri Sadashiva Rudra. The power is Hrim. Ram is the key. Shrim, Hrim, Klim are the root syllables. The recitation of the kavach is for the pleasing of Sri Sadashiva. Now begins the immersion of each part of the devotee into the divine. Amen. Salutations to that brilliant god who wears a garland of effulgent flames. Om Ram to him who is the abode of all the powers of the root syllable ram to that divine soul we offer salutations with both thumbs amen salutations to that brilliant god who wears a garland of effulgent flames om nam rim to him who is the abode of constant satisfaction to that divine male soul we offer salutations with both index fingers amen salutations to that brilliant god who wears a garland of effulgent flames om mam rum to him who is the abode of the power which has no beginning to that wondrous soul we offer salutations with both middle fingers amen salutations to that brilliant god who wears a garland of effulgent flames om shim raim to him who is the abode of the power of the technique of the self to that deity who resides on the left we offer salutations with both ring fingers amen salutations to that brilliant god who wears a garland of effulgent flames om vam raum to him who is the abode of the power which is revealed to that soul whose attribute is truth we offer salutations with both little fingers amen salutations to that brilliant god who wears a garland of effulgent flames om yam raha to him who is the abode of the power which has no beginning who enfolds everything in his soul to him we offer salutations with the palms and with the backs of our hands in this banner may every part of our being be offered to that divine power here begins the meditation upon the divine form salutations to him whose grinding molars are as strong as indra's thunderbolt weapon of vajra who is three-eyed and who bears a dark throat who is the destroyer of all enemies whose thousand arms strike terror and who is shambhu the beloved of uma up until this point and in future ages to come all the sacred scriptures remain unaware of the supreme secret that secret which is pure which completely stops the flow of sin which gives victory success and relief from all problems and pain is the shiva kavach which i shall now reveal to you for your benevolence thus spoke sage rushabha 
after doing obeisance to the great Lord Mahadev, the one who occupies the entire universe, I now disclose to you that esoteric truth which is verily the omnipresent Shiva and is for the protection of every human being. Having settled yourself in a sacred place, with all your senses subdued and prana controlled, meditate upon the imperishable Shiva. Meditate upon the blissful joy of that great Lord Mahesh, who resides in the lotus of the heart, whose luster and splendor pervade the firmament and space beyond, who transcends the senses and is subtle, infinite, and primordial. Now the mantras, which allow the devotee to gain the benevolence of Shiva's protective powers. Firstly, by disentangling yourself from all the bonds of action, by constant meditation, thereby merging into supreme bliss, and with your heart ever intent on the Shadakshara Mantra, Om Namah Shivai. Thus, by reciting the Kavach of Shishiva, may you gain his protection. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya May that supreme divinity raise us from the dark, fathomless well of this world, and may his glorious celestial root mantras destroy all the sins in our heart. May he, who is in the form of the entire universe, who is enlightenment and intense joy, and who is the soul of divine vibrations, protect us everywhere. May that great Lord, who exists with mighty power in every atom and molecule, and who pervades the entire universe, free us from all types of fear, in whatever form or place. May Girisha, the eightfold form of Shiva, who supports the universe as Earth, protect us from all earthly ailments. And may he who gives life to humanity as water, Remove all our fear of water. May Kala Rudra, who burns all the worlds at the end of the Kalpas by performing the Tandava dance of destruction, rescue us from all wild fires and winds. May that mighty male, who is four headed and three eyed, who is resplendent like lightning and gold, and who gives blessings and knowledge preside in the east, and by holding an axe in his hand, protect us at all times. May he who holds the axe, Vedas, hook, noose, trident, skull, drum, and rosary in his hands, who is the giver of good virtues, who is four-faced, with three beautiful blue eyes, and with a terrifying form, Protect us in the south. May he, who is as white and pure as the delicate kunda flower, the luminous moon and the lustrous conch, who is as clear as crystal, who holds the sacred knowledge, who wears rosary beads and garlands, who bestows the boon of fearlessness, who is three-eyed and four-faced, who has mighty valor and who is skillful and intelligent in battle, protect us in the West. May the beautiful deity Vam Mahadeva, who holds the rosary, garlands and blessings in his hands, 
who is dauntless and brave, who is the holder of the axe, whose hue is resplendent like the filament of a blossoming lotus, who is three-eyed and four-faced, protect us in the north. May the five-faced Ishana, who holds in his hands a hook, noose, hatchet, skull, drum and trident, also the Vedas and a rosary as a token of security, who sparkles like the stars and is the highest form of light, protect us from above. We pray to Lord Chandra Mauli to protect our head, Bhala Nitra to protect our forehead, Bhaga Nitrahari, the destroyer of lust, to protect our eyes, and may Vishwanatha always protect our nose. May the deity Shruti Gita Kirti, who is renowned in the Vedas, protect our ears, and may Kapali, who holds a skull in his hand, always protect our cheeks. May Panchavaktra, the five-faced Shiva, protect our face, and Veda Jiva, who has the Vedas eternally on his tongue, protect our tongue. May the blue-necked Nilakantha Garisha protect our throat. May Pinaka Pani, who holds in his hands the bone named Pinaka, protect our hands. May Dharma Bahu, whose arms are the very embodiment of Dharma, protect our arms. And may the Lord Daksha Makantaka, who destroyed the sacrifice of Daksha, guard our chest against all dangers and evil. May Ngirindra Dhanwa, who resides in the highest mountains and who holds a bow, protect our stomach. May the destroyer of Cupid, Madanantakari, protect our middle. May the father of Ganesha, Hirambatata, protect our navel. And may Dhurjatir Ishwara, who has matted locks, protect our waist. May Kubera Mitra, the friend of Kubera, protect our thighs. May Jagadishwara, the lord of the world, protect our knees. May Pungavaketu, who has the flag of Nandi, guard our calves. And may Sura Vandya Pada, whose lotus feet are worshipped by the deities, protect our feet. May Maheshwara be our protector in the first part of the day, Vamadeva in the middle part, Trilochana in the third part, and Varsha Dhwajaha in the last. May Shashi Shekara, who has the moon on his head, keep us from all evil in the first part of the night. Gangadhara at midnight, Gauripati at dawn, and Murtanjaya at all times. May Shankara be our protector from within, Sthanu from without, Pashupati in the intermediate region, and Sadashiva everywhere. May Bhuva Nekanatha, who is the sole lord of all the worlds, protect us when we are stationary. Pramatta Adinatha, the primordial lord of the Ganas, when we are moving. Lord Vedanta Vedya, who is known by the Vedas, when we are sitting. May Sri Shiva protect us when we are asleep. May Nilakantha protect our way, and may the formidable foe of the three cities, Puratrayari, dispel our fears and dangers amidst impassable peaks and valleys. May Mruga Vyadha Udara Shakti, who is the powerful, generous lord and the skillful huntsman, protect us whilst journeying through thick forests. To Lord Virabhadra, whose wrath knows no bounds, whose terrible laughter causes the world to tremble, and who is as fierce as Yama at the end of the Kalpas, 
we offer our heartfelt prayers to him who destroys our fears in crossing the terrible ocean of formidable foes. With the sharp and ferocious edge of his sword, may Lord Murda destroy the fearful hosts of enemy armies arrayed in the four divisions of infantry, armoured cavalry, chariots and elephants against us. May Lord Prelianalarchita, who shines with the fire of final dissolution, and who is the destroyer of the three cities of evil, slay the Rakshasas with his trident. May Isha Dhanu Pinaka, who holds the Pinaka bow, frighten away all formidable wild beasts such as tigers, lions and bears. May Jagatam Madhisha destroy all evil arising from inauspicious dreams and omens, all turmoils, mental and bodily agonies, all famine, natural catastrophes, vices and bad habits, misfortunes, pressures and fears, poisons, viruses and incurable diseases. Now the names of Shishiva. We bow to that Lord Sadashiva, who is the supreme soul of all tattva, who is the very form of the holy hymns and sacred rites, who presides over all yantra, who is himself in the form of all tantra, who detaches himself from all tattva, who incarnates as Maharudra and who is blue-throated, who is the beloved of the beautiful Parvati, whose very eyes are the sun, moon and fire, who has a body smeared with white holy ashes and who wears a crown studded with large jewels, who is adorned with red rubies, who takes the incarnation of Kala Rudra to create, sustain and destroy all creation who destroyed Daksha's sacrifice, who kills the tide of time, who alone resides in the Muladhara Chakra in the absolute state, who transcends Tattva, who supports the holy Ganga upon his head, who is the lord of all the gods, who possesses the six ancient systems of philosophy, who is the truth and essence of Vedanta, who is the means to attain the three vargas of Dharma, Artha and Kama, and who is the lord of endless millions of creations, who is decorated with the eight king cobras named Ananta, Vasuki, Takshaka, Karkotaka, Shankha, Kulika, Padma and Mahapadma and all their subjects who is in the form of vibrations in the ether and in all directions, who wears a garland of stars and planets, who is complete, who is pure and spotless, who is the preceptor of all creation, who nurtures all creation, who destroys all creation, who is the guru of all creation, who is the supreme witness of all creation who is the supreme secret of all the Vedas, who transcends all philosophy, who bestows boons upon everyone, who showers benevolence upon everyone, who holds the moon upon his head, who remains eternal, who is without fallacy, who is devoid of disease, who is immaculate, who is without greed, pride, worry or ego, who cannot be bound, who is spotless, who is beyond all the qualities, who is desireless and indestructible, who is innocent, eternal, causeless and endless, who is beyond the illusionary attachments of this world, who is without companion or duality, who is without support, attachment or anger, who is pure, without sin, fear or doubts, 
who has oneness, who is beyond all actions and doubts, who is unequaled, without blemish and indestructible, who is eternally pure with complete enlightenment, who is truth, pure consciousness and absolute bliss, who is without duality and in the form of supreme peace, who is all effulgence and effulgence embodied. All hail, victory to you, Sri Rudra, the one with a great and terrifying form, the incarnation of auspiciousness. You are Maha Bhairava, Kala Bhairava, and that Bhairava who incarnates at the end of the Kalpa. Your garlands and necklaces of skulls. You hold in your hands the divine weapon Ghatvanga, the sword, skin, hook and drum, the trident, noose, bow and arrow, the club, and the weapon called Shakti. O oh, thousand-faced God, you are fearful to look at with your terrible teeth, and your peeling laughter pierces all the worlds. Serpents are your earrings, your garlands and your bracelets. You wear an elephant skin upon your body. You are the conqueror of death. As Lord Triambaka, you behold the three mother goddesses. You are the destroyer of the three cities. You are in the form of the universe. You have an unusual number of eyes, and you are the Lord of the universe. O oh Lord, who's beautifully decorated with poison, whose conveyance is that of a bullock, and who is the mouth of the universe, protect us completely. Now the mantras to awaken the power of protection. Please dispel our fear of that great death which destroys all chance of the soul's ascent of accidental death and danger. Please remove our fear of thieves, calm down our fear of venomous creatures, and destroy our enemies at the root. Please frighten the bands of dead spirits, entities and the like with your bow and arrows and give us hope and freedom from the daily frustrations and tensions of life. Save us from falling into the fearful pit of hell and render us fearless and free. Please give us a new, peaceful and enlightened life. Please take away all our hunger and thirst. Lift us out of sorrow and unhappiness and let our life be full of bliss. Through the cover of Shishiva, may the whole of our being vibrate with divine protection. O Lord Mrtanjaya, Triambaka, Sadashiva, salutations to you again and again. Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devye Namo Namaha